Hey crafty friends! Today I thought we would do a fun craft with me and make these really cute little ghost tags. Um, or you could use them as embellishments. I've just used uh, some ribbon and twine and stickers from my stash. And um, this one I put the little googly eyes off to the side. I've used um, these larger ones and I've used these smaller ones but these turned out so cute so if you wanted to attach them to a gift um, you could just um, make this an actual tag instead of just making it decorative like this um, but I thought these turned out super cute I love the little googly eyes on them so let's go ahead and make some. Um, so I had my Cricut cut this out for me, um, just using one of like the tag shapes. Um, and here is the black one and it measures three by Three by just shy there of two. And then the white measures two and three quarters by about one and three quarters. Um, so you could make these any size that you wanted to. Um, this is just the size that I chose. So if you don't have a Cricut, you could use, um, you know, if you have like a popsicle punch, you could use that um, and just cut the popsicle part off. Or you could just draw this and cut this out. So let's go ahead and make a couple. We'll make two of these together. They're really simple. So all I'm going to do is use my adhesive here. Um, to add the white part here down on the black piece of cardstock. And I'm trying the best that I can to measure to match up that hole here. Because it's not exactly a circle, it's kind of a wonky circle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I did these in a big batch. I just put all the white pieces down and then I went in and added all of the googly eyes and then I went back and added my little sentiments and then the ribbon. So once you have these, um, you will need some googly eyes, which I have some different sizes here and I'm using my glue gun. Um, to attach the eyes. So let's do some different sizes. And let's do these two. And then we'll grab two of the larger ones. All right. So I'm going to use my little wax tool here. This is the diamond dots tool. It just helps me pick up the um, the googly eyes. So I think I'm going to do these off to the side a little bit. I thought that was cute. So we'll do those off to the side. So if you don't have a glue gun, you could use Pop Dot, you could um, use regular glue, whatever you have handy. Alright, so I just like to go in and clean up any of the little glue strings and we have our cute little ghost tags. These are really simple and easy to create. All right, so I am going to use these <clears throat> to 
Tim Holtz stickers, the label stickers. Um, I also used some other stickers that I had in my stash, um, but I really liked how the black sentiment just popped off the white paper. So I'm going to grab a couple that kind of go along with, you know, like the ghosts. So we're going to do spooky. And which other one could we use? Um, we could do beware. Let's do that one. All right, and so we have our little tags almost completed. So then next you'll need some type of uh, ribbon and I'm just using this black with the white stitch from um, Michaels and this was on clearance for a dollar. And then I have my black and white twine and this was from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take a little bit off. I like to have just a bit more ribbon than I actually need so that I have wiggle room to make the make it as long or as short as I want. And then I just fed this part through and then I'm going to feed my ends through here. And you want to pull gently. If you pull too hard, you would risk ripping your hole here. So then once you have that, I just like to make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to trim this down a little bit. And let's do one more. And the nice thing about this ribbon is it goes through that hole nicely. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. So you could leave them just like that, um, where you could take this apart and add it to, you know, like a bag or something. Um, but I want to take a little bit of my twine. And then I'm just going to create a little bow on top of this little part here. So I'm just going to use my twine. You could use if you have like a bow cabochon or anything like that. You could use that as well and add like a little, little bow. And then I'm just going to make a bow. I'm not going to make it too big. You can make it as big or as small as you want. And then I'm going to trim up this piece here. There we go. And we have another one. And that's just going to go how it wants to go. So super easy to make these little guys. So let's see, um, I have some bow cabochons in here, so if you didn't want to add this, you could go through your stash, you could add a little bow, you could add, even add a little bow over here if you wanted, that would be cute. So you could add this like here, you could add it up here, but I think it's kind of cute to add it off to the side. So... We could still add this if you wanted to. Let's do this. All 
I'm going to go ahead and trim. This and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. And then I can add my little cabochon. Like that. So super cute. I love the little bow there. So if you didn't want to put sentiment, you could put other stickers. If you had like, uh, um, like a 3D pumpkin or anything like that. Or um, instead of the googly eyes, I have these um, eye stickers, which I believe were it's American Craft. Um, I think I got these at Joann's. So you could add these onto your tags as well. So just use what you have in your stash and um, you can create these fun, cute little ghosts. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out this plan with me. If you make these, I'd love for you to tag me so I can check out your creations. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.